super, super duper quick. I had a very quick little meeting with somebody that's a, I think he's a fire captain for Ventura County. And we talked about the upcoming fire season. And it was really actually, I would call it encouraging, wouldn't yeah, you? Absolutely. Very encouraging because even over the past couple of years with these major fires that have occurred, we called it the V earlier. The total burn that way and the total burn that way he is predicting we are going to have fires because of all the growth and all the rain. But because all the real heavy stuff has burned out, he said most likely when we do get these fires, they're going to be like two-day burns because it's just the recent growth that's going to burn out. So they're going to be quick through and not like these multiple day, slow burning, never ending, which is what it feels like when you're going 24-7 fires. Now, as that changes, I'm going to be working with him pretty closely, and there's another uh, captain from Los Angeles County that's going to be getting more involved, and hopefully the Ventura guy is going to actually come and speak to us at one of the classroom trainings. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. And of course, you know, when we do have these fires, one of the things I noticed during the last fire mm -hmm. is before actually reaching out to people, I started getting calls saying we're ready to go if there's a fire. And I was like, yes, that's what I'm talking about. So thank you guys, everybody, for the last fire. This is, since last year, this is more of the newer project um, that I've been working with Brian on, is getting together the Ebert trainings, working with Vicki, working with all of you, um, trying to make this a, a little bit easier, if that's possible. It is. And um, <laughs> getting everything prepped and ready for any disasters that we have and getting you guys gear that's needed for your assistance in, in making this process a little easier for everybody involved. We're going to do trailer inspection. This is not a I'm going to go look at trailers. This is kind of a super quick what we're doing to make sure your trailers are good and maintained and ready to go. What we did was we printed out Alina. She's got the she's got a great box. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, that's right. We printed out a list. I actually use this for my evacuation clinics, a trailer maintenance checklist that everybody can take. Basically, what it has is like sections of importance of repairs. So it breaks down the different things you should always look for with your trailers, but when you take it in for your trailer maintenance, you can work with your repair or maintenance guy to show what condition each of these areas are in. So if you don't have to repair it right away, you can make a little note, follow up in spring or follow up then. Because what I tell people during my clinics is that if Hector tells me, how many of you guys know Hector at Nagora? Yes, my best friend, I love him. Um, if Hector says, hey, you're gonna need new brakes, but not right now, we'll have to put them on in spring or summer, then I'll make a little note saying follow up with Hector in April or something like that. That way, we don't have to spend all our money at one time if something does come up. So what we're going to do is hand these out, and then we're going to go over to the trailers over here, and I'm just going to do a quick, super quick point out. It's not going to take a long time. People with trailers, you, already got, you guys kind of already know. This is just a quick touch on subject.